Mr. Ponton, I believe you have a filter turned on in the video settings. Uh, you might want to uh, uh, take, take we're a look. Trying to, we're, we're tr can you hear me, Judge? I can hear you. I think it's a filter. It, in the it is, and I don't know how to remove it. I've got my assistant here. She's trying to, but uh, I'm prepared to go forward with it. That's I'm here live. That's not. I'm not a cat. I can. I can see that. Um, I think if you click the up arrow next. Hey, NBC News viewers. <laughs> thanks for checking. He's not a cat, ladies and gentlemen. He's not a cat. Everyone, welcome to episode. It should be episode forty-one. Let me change this here. Episode 41 of the water cooler and today is February the 10th and it's the year 2020 2021 as some people say and It's a lovely afternoon here in McAllen, Texas a little on the cloudy side just before the cold front this uh, uh, this weekend um, My understanding is there will be a cold front so everyone bundle up this weekend cover your plants bring in your pets, and let's hunker down for a nice, relaxing, just cold weekend. You know, get some hot chocolate, get some coffee, get some movies ready, have a have a good time indoors, stay safe. Um, everyone, welcome to The Water Cooler. Um, like I said, episode 41. This is MPL's, McAllen Public Library's live stream, and it's all about current events, we kind of just talk. We kind of just talk, kind of chat. I'm going to ask you all to to ask some questions or share some thoughts. Hey, Hector, have a great show. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate you joining. Um, yeah, we're just going to chat today. I kind of want to talk about um, some Valentine's Day gifts. So anyone who's out there who is shopping for their special someone, I think Valentine's Day is what Sunday or Monday. It is Sunday this year, so you still have a couple days. It's only Wednesday now, um, but yeah, I'm gonna give y'all some some good tips and some good, you know, just a, I found some lists online and I wanna show them to you guys. But first things first, I wanna do the fan favorite, which is what's new at MP. And it's a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna go a little fast through it um, this week. So what's new at MPL? And we're gonna kick off. I got a nice little kind of Valentine's Day looking backdrop. It's a little pink. Um, it's a nice little sunset. And we're gonna go through this. What's new in MPL? Some of this stuff I've talked about um, in the past couple of weeks. I'm gonna just touch on them very briefly. So MPL is now allowing 10 holds and 50 items checked out per library card. So you, you can place 10 items on hold with your card and then they'll call you and say, hey, you can come pick up your hold. Uh, and you can do that 10 times per card now. It used to be five, now it's 10. And you can check out 50 items per library card. So it used to be only 25 items, and it feels weird saying only 25 items because now it's 50, but you can check out up to 50 items per card. So that's including your six, your six DVDs or Blu-rays, and then the rest um, could be books or audio books or anything like that. Um, and video games check out this this time. I added a photo of the video games so we can see exactly what we're talking about um, You can see they have ps4 switch um, And you'll see Xbox one at the top uh, But I clipped that off so video games check out rules So the borrower must be over 17 years old have a valid MPL card You got to provide a proof of current address and complete an agreement that and that agreement, you just sign it with your blood, and they say, "Hey, if you lose this, you owe us, and we'll find you." <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I think they have pens there. Uh, you can only check out one game per household, and games are checked out uh, one week at a time. So you only get a week with the game. So if you fall in love with it, uh, you can come back and check it out again, or you can just go and purchase it. Um, the winter reading program that ends on the 14th. So you have a couple more days to read your winter reading 
book list or you got about a couple days to do your challenges. Um, and prize pickup has already begun. Prize pickup started about a month ago. And those are the prizes. I know last week I talked about the prizes and I tried describing what they were. And I just couldn't do it justice. So I added a photo here of the prizes. For children, it's that smaller uh, cup and it changes colors. So once you pour your water or their favorite juice, um, you, you'll see that the color will change of the cup. Excuse me there. Uh, for adults, we get the good stuff. We get the big light up tumbler. And I wish I had a, an example here with me to show you, um, but this is the best I can do here, this photo of the tumbler. And at the bottom, it has some lights and your drink will illuminate with these little lights at the bottom. So that's what's going on with the video game checkouts and the summer reading, I'm sorry, winter reading stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. One thing that I kind of, I don't know if I brought this up last time or not, but we do have a new eBooks and new audiobooks resource on our eBranch. Um, and that is called Cloud Library. So everyone knows we have Libby already. You need a library card for Libby. You download Libby and you can read eBooks and audiobooks straight on your phone or device. Cloud Library is sort of like that. It's pretty much the same thing, but this one is from the whole uh, county. So everyone in the county uses Libby, oh, I'm sorry, Cloud Library, and everyone you know, adds their own stuff in there. So it's a bigger selection, a huge selection. You can see um, just how big their selection is here. We got romance, health, self-help, Black History Month titles, and all kinds of stuff. They have Westerns, fiction, poetry, all kinds of stuff. And there is a website here, yourcloudlibrary.com, and it'll ask you for your library card information. And then the COVID testing out in the parking lot, um, down behind the Whataburger here on the Northeast side, um, you can visit this website here, curative.com, to book your appointment. And here are the appointment dates and times. And if you want um, to look at this a little further, go ahead and screenshot now before I move on. Black History Month uh, Library Virtual Programming Schedule is announced. I brought this up last week. And you can just take a look for yourself how much programming our library and branches are bringing to the table for Black History Month. Um, a lot of virtual programs, pretty much everything is virtual program um, programming. But you can see where they'll be posting the videos. A lot of them are MPL adults, some are MPL kids and MPL teens. Um, our branches are getting in on it. And if you want more information on that, of course, you can call the branch, visit MPL adults on Facebook, Find us on YouTube, McAllen Library, or just screenshot this right now, click, and you can see it for yourself later on. And that's all I have for what's new at MPL. Um, hopefully, if you had some questions on that, you can screenshot exactly what you were thinking about, and you can look over it later. Uh, but now we get to the, the interesting kind of topics or the interesting stories of the week. I don't know if y'all were able to hear the video I played at the, at the top of the show. Um, if it sounded bad, uh, let me know because I was gonna play some videos in a little bit. But we're gonna kind of talk about, um, you know, the elephant in the room. Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, some people maybe, maybe you're not gonna get a gift this year for your significant other. Maybe you're on, you're on hard times. Your significant other knows this, and you, and you kind of just called the truce this year and said, hey, no gifts this year, that's okay. But for anyone who is purchasing stuff for Valentine's Day, I'm going to kind of just show you what I found on the interwebs um, throughout the week of what I thought were pretty good ideas for, okay, thanks, Hector. Video sounded good. Cool, because I'm going to play some of the Super Bowl ads in a little bit, and I kinda, I'm going to just share the three funniest ones that I thought. Um, so thank you. So here's some Valentine gift ideas. I'm not going to go through all 50 of these heartfelt um, gifts for your loved one. Uh, I'm going to just go through a couple and then I can share the link to it. Here, I'll share the link to the article in a little bit. 
But here are some 50 heartfelt gifts for your loved ones. It's Valentine's Day. If you're not uh, celebrating Valentine's Day this year, you can kind of put me on put me on mute or something or don't leave the stream, but you know, kind of put me away for a little bit. Give me about like five minutes on this. <laughs> and we'll continue on to some other stuff. So gift ideas for him. This okay. The, the first couple they actually put on here, I actually thought were actually pretty good. And I said actually like four times there. But some of these first ones they put up here, gift ideas for him, um, I thought were really good. So this first one, right off the bat, it's like they know who their audience is. Bag smart electronic organizer. So anyone who has a lot of little uh, knickknacks that are electronic kind of things like chargers or headphones or looks like SD cards down in here. This is kind of ideal for them. I don't have a lot of that kind of stuff, but uh, this person seems to have a lot. So there's this back smart electronic organizer from Amazon. This one I thought was really cool too. Um, it's a smart reusable notebook and using that pen, you can make, you can write your own notes and then <laughs> virtual, <laughs> Virtual hug for anyone not celebrating uh, Valentine's Day this year and is really giving me a stink eye right now talking about these these Valentine's Day gifts. What's up, JC? Thank you for joining. Thank you for the virtual hug. Um, so yeah, the smart reusable notebook. Apparently this loads your notes up to the cloud somewhere and you can download them later. So this is really cool. Uh, that's from Amazon too. This breakfast thing, it looks kind of like too much of a contraption to, to be very useful. So I'm gonna just skip that one. This one is just basically a bunch of New York Times sports clippings for someone's favorite team. Uh, cold brew coffee thing. I'm not really much into cold brew coffee, but there's that from Amazon. Um, okay, this hot sauce stuff is really is really catching wind this year. A lot of people are doing this hot sauce, you know, this grilling thing. I'm a griller. I'm a barbecue kind of person, but uh, I'm not really into the whole gourmet, get your own hot sauce online kind of thing. I can just do with whatever's at the store. Um, ballpark glasses. This, I thought, is, this is just a really bad gift idea because this is a fire hazard waiting to happen. Okay, and I'm going to move on to another DIY list that I saw. Uh, and we can just kind of go through these. These are a little more on the crafty side because they're DIY, of course. And here's a link to the here's a link to the article I just looked at right there. And here's the DIY one. Let's see if it loads. So this is from my modern net. Um, I'm assuming the Metropolitan Museum. Um, these are DIY kits to help you send a heartfelt message this Valentine's Day. So you'll see a lot of these are kind of on the crafty side. Oh my gosh. On the crafty side and require a little more work, obviously. And some of these are pretty cool. So this one is like a heart shaped rock emblem, necklace kind of thing. Some paper roses. Um, this little hedgehog, hedgehog looking thing and it gives you the little kit to sew it together. Um, chocolates, I mean, you can just buy chocolates at the store. This is like a, a bougie chocolate box. <laughs> That's the best word I can think of on the spot. Sloth couple, another kind of sewing pattern or knitting pattern. This is pretty cool, the sloths hanging from a stick with a heart. Uh, Shibori scar scarf kit. A tie-dye sc scarf kit, another thing that I don't think it gets very cold down here for a scarf kit. Um, origami love letters, painting kits, um, crystals. This one I thought is probably the best one in the whole thing. This hedgehog little sewing kit for two hedgehogs, so it's not just the one. And it's $100 from this person's uh, Etsy shop. So if any of those appeal to you, I'll drop the link here in the chat. Oh my gosh, where did I go? We are having some technical difficulties. 
Oh my gosh, where am I? Where am I? <laughs> Do I have the cat filter on or is it, what's going on here? We have some def technical difficulties, of course, from time to time. Um, I'm about to go viral, aren't I? Anyway, let's move on to the Super Bowl ads. Here is the Vulture article for the Super Bowl ads this year. Um, so if you all watched the Super Bowl this year um, and you saw these ads, <laughs> no cat filter, where's Grace? Yeah, where's my moderator? Help me. Help me mod. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying on air. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Um, so uh, this is a list of all the Super Bowl commercials. Obviously, I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, and it's kind of like a blessing in disguise not to have my, my camera on, huh? I'm, I'm sparing you guys here. But uh, all the 2021 Super Bowl commercials here on this list, and I'm going to just pick my top three. And if you all have your favorite one from this year, go ahead and leave it in the comments now. Is it because I commented in the chat for the first time and my video just went crazy? <laughs> How do I... It's all good. We're going to power through this, guys. Um, so, yeah, there were a couple, sorry, there were a couple really cringy ones. And, I mean, this is, two of these are the, from the same commercial. And then the f middle one here is from another one. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. We're going to power through it. I'm going to just skip through. Okay, my first one that I really, really liked, um, and maybe some of you guys saw this, um, it was one of the, was this one right here? So this is from Amazon Alexa. <laughs> Thanks, GC. <laughs> so I'm telling you guys, I'm sparing you all just what I'm looking like right now. I'm like sweating bullets, but it's all good. I'm gonna show you all some videos. Um, so Amazon Alexa's sexy Alexa. Michael B. Jordan is the Alexa of our dreams in this Amazon ad. Read me a sexy audiobook in the bath, sweet prince. It's kind of a cringy little. It's just. Flawless, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I literally couldn't imagine a more beautiful vessel for Alexa to be inside. Alexa, how many tablespoons are in a cup? There are 16 tablespoons in a cup. Babe, food just got here. Why are you cooking? Who's that? Alexa, turn on the sprinklers. Honey, I already ran the sprinklers. Things are getting way too wet around here. <laughs> Alexa, dim the lights. Alexa, lights up! Alexa, lights up! Add bath oil to my shopping list. <laughs> Alexa, no, don't do that. Read my audio book. I was in his hands. I was being changed. Yeah. <sighs> and I was also kissing him. Honey, other people have to use the bathroom around here too. So that one I thought was really funny. That was probably the first one that I said was like, wow, that was really funny. Um, so that's why I added it to my list. My other one, this one was so bad. I'm sorry if there are any Shaggy fans in the room or in the chat. Hey, Grace, by the way, while you're LOLing over here, my video <laughs> is gone out. I don't know what's going on, but I thought I'd just let you know. That's why I'm not on video. My brother is laughing at me. Sorry. Or I'm not sorry, but why are you laughing at me? Anyway, this Cheetos one, <coughs> I guess I could cough and drink water the whole time. You guys can't see me. But this Cheetos one with Shaggy and uh, what's his name? Ashton Kutcher, Mila Kunis. This one was probably the worst um, of the whole lot. Not a fan of this one at all. Sorry for any Shaggy fans. Um, John Travolta makes a TikTok. This one was okay. Um just because it had that guy from The Office. The one Shaggy, sorry, Shaggy fans, am I canceled? I'm canceled by all Shaggy fans around the world. Um, Michelo, there, of course, there were a lot of these feel good, kind of like this whole pandemic thing, obviously, has taken a toll on us. And these huge corporations, they just want us to be happy. And that's okay. 
And it's okay if you're not happy, but we're Michelob and we are spending money on some Super Bowl ads. This one was really bad also. I am a fan of Matthew McConaughey. I will be the first to admit, but his whole flat Doritos 3D thing. Let's just watch this one just to just to see how uh, maybe you like it. I don't know. Lately, I just I haven't been feeling quite like myself. Life used to feel fuller. I want to Matthew? break free. Matthew? Some days are harder than others. I want to break free. It's like I used to hit solid ground. <laughs> did you drive here or did you travel by fax? I want to break free. There's got to be a way to get back. That's how the Joker happened. I want to break free. I agree. I know it's for real. I'm falling in love. God knows. God knows. Doritos. Now in 3D. Okay, watching that a second time was actually that one was actually pretty good. Um, Amy Schumer. This one was pretty funny with the Hellman's. Um, oh, this one was. I don't like this one either. Let me know if you guys liked any or what your favorite one was. I can play it for us. Let me just try to. I'm trying to get my cam. Oh, here we go. Oh, never mind. My camera is not back. Okay, let me keep pushing on here. Push it, push it on. Um, this one was pretty funny, but if you're not a football fan, this one was kind of just like, what am I watching? I don't remember this one. This one, another big company telling us how it wants to change the world. Okay, this one was one of my other favorite ones, this M&M's one. If you remember this one, this one was one of the funnier ones. Let me play it here. Apparently, this guy is from Schitt's Creek from... Amazon, and it's spelled different, everyone. That's how you spell it. I feel bad for kicking your seat on purpose. I'm sorry for mansplaining. That's one of my... I know what it is. I wish I'd have just, just told you it's a boy. boy. <laughs> I, wish I wish you didn't have to hear all that. that. Sorry I called you Karen. That's my name. Sorry your name is Karen. I promise I will not eat any more of your friends. Really? It might happen one more time. <laughs> Green M&M. &M. Uh, this one was not good. This one I thought was funny, but only one can put can make my top three. Or I thought it was probably the funniest one of the night. And if you haven't guessed it yet, it's got to do with the foreign land across the Atlantic. And while I make it down here, if anyone figures out what it is, um, you get a prize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of, I mean, some of these, they tried to be funny, and this is just my opinion, of course, but it just didn't hit for me. I don't even remember this one. Weather Tech is American. Awesome. Uh, Jimmy John's, this one was funny with Brad Garrett. This one was really weird. Um, LOL, Grace. How's it going? Here we go. Will Ferrell, Keenan Thompson, Aquafina, Vow to Crush Norway. Here we go. This is the funniest one of the night for me. And I guess we can end on this one because my camera um, is not coming back. I'm going to just move it like that. There you go. So we'll end on this. Yes, Dominic. Thank you. The Will Ferrell one. This is the funniest one I thought of the night. Um, if you don't agree with me, y'all can just put whichever, write whichever one you thought was funnier. And we can end on this one. Make it a little bigger so y'all can see. I wish this would go away. But I am on the website, so it's okay. That's too big. All right, here we go. The No Way Norway Extended Big Game Commercial. I know I'm really talking this up. 
but here we go. See it for yourselves. Did you know that Norway sells way more electric cars per capita than the U.S.? Norway. <laughs> well, I won't stand for it. Come on. Just watch it. Oh, never mind. With GM's new Ultium battery, we're going to crush those losers. Crush them! Let's go, America. Keenan, Norway's out EVing us. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's my daughter's birthday. She's really in Irish. I don't like care. It. Grab an EV, meet me in Norway. Okay, can I say goodbye to my family? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Aquafina, sorry to disturb you, but Norway's beating us at EVs. Nuh uh. Uh huh. Nuh uh. Uh huh. Meet me there in an hour. Can I ride with you? No. GM's Ultium battery is made for all types of vehicles, so soon everyone can drive an EV. I'm laughing. <laughs> Why don't we all just go together? No, and Will is probably flying private. <laughs> He's not flying private. Hey, Norway, listen up, you fish loving. Whoa, this place is adorable. Damn it. Where are you guys? We're in Finland. Where are you? <laughs> I'm in Norway. Norway? You're in, in Sweden. Sweden. Damn it. Ah. Uh... So good. So good. So after Will Ferrell finds out Norway produces more EVs than the US, all heck breaks loose in this GM ad. Oh man. That was just top tier Super Bowl ad. It was funny. It had multiple celebrities that that you know enjoy the same thing as I do. You know, Aquafina was, you know, doing the archery stuff. Um, Joe Montana for Guinness. This one was also a good one. Timothy Charlemagne was doing his thing as Edward Scissorhands. Um, Sesame Street came out. This is one of those things that, you know, that taps into our childhood. For us millennials who are really into Sesame Street, they really tapped into that. But, uh, haha, -ha, yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Grace. Yeah, this that one was good. Yeah, I like the Norway one. Um, should we end on the Bruce Springsteen one? <laughs> I'll play Bruce Springsteen and end the stream, everyone. So here's the Jeep and Bruce Springsteen. Thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you for sticking. Oh, no. <gasps> the video is private. No. I'll find it, y'all. Don't worry. Bruce Springsteen Jeep ad. Did they take it off? Um, some more technical difficulties. This is a. Oh, this one was good too. Okay, we'll end on this one. This one was a little more funny. Um. And I'll end the stream. Thank you guys for watching. Here's one last one. Hey, Adam. When is the fun? What's exactly? happening? I think I'm ready to start dating again. What are you looking for? I'm sick of LA guys. I want someone completely different, maybe from another country, and someone cultured and sensitive and who is not threatened by a strong, confident woman. On the Spotty Network, this is what Adam heard. I'm sick of LA guys. I want someone completely country, uncultured, and threatened by a strong, confident woman. It's not wings or nachos. It's wings and nachos. Hey, send my onion rings down here. I have your guy. <laughs> Gwen? Blake? Um, oh my god, hilarious, right? I mean, no. What do you mean? <laughs> Are you wearing spurs? Did you ride a horse here? Yeah. Don't trust your love life to just any network. T-Mobile has more number ones in it's 5G funny it's than Valentine's any other Day network. Too. You need to ride home? T-Mobile is the leader in All 5G. All right. I think that's enough Super Bowl ads. Oh my. Yeah. That's enough Super Bowl ads for this week, guys. Thank you guys for watching again. I don't know what happened with my camera, especially since I'm on a laptop and there's not even an external camera. But tis fine, tis fine. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you all for joining us. Grace, oh my gosh. Thank you for joining us. Thank you everyone in the chat for 
sharing your thoughts and opinions and the laughs that we all had. We had a good time. Same time, same place next week. Have a good day. I'm giving a peace sign, and I'm saying bye.